Pop was George, lovely man, wonderful man, very, very close relationship with my father. Actually lived with my father all but seven years of my life and the caring role I found difficult. Physically and emotionally exhausting, absolutely, because you have that person in your head 24 seven. You cannot not think about them. You need to be thinking about them, what they need, what they might do. And that's a strange word I never thought I would use, but you do, you feel lonely within your situation. Um, very lonely, actually. Very isolating. Loneliness is a subjective evaluation of your experiences of social connection. It's a little bit different from social isolation, although we often think about the two things similarly. Social isolation can be something that we value. Loneliness is not something that we value. It's experienced as an unpleasant experience. It's increasingly common in this country, and it's often linked not simply with older people, but with all sorts of life situations where there's transitions involved. The LEADER project is all about experiences of and responses to loneliness, and particularly how the digital world can actually be part of those responses. As well as academics on the project, actually equally crucial has been the range of stakeholders we've had involved. Precisely because of some of the challenges that you were talking about. And your other identity then just completely fades away. Whatever the percentage is, it's going to increase, isn't it? It's a huge issue because carers become very socially isolated. What tends to happen as you start to care is that you, more and more of your time is taken up with caring. And a lot of the tasks are not very glamorous. You know, it can be personal care, can be a lot about, you know, unpleasant things that people don't really want to talk about. And so what happens is often friendships fall away because people don't know what to say, they don't know how to help, they're not really wanting to hear about your awful day and carers don't really want to keep putting on a brave face. So the real benefit of having a closed network is the people that enter into that closed network understand your experience and automatically empathise with your experience as well. We're using digital in every other area of our lives. Why wouldn't we use it actually to support caring? And I think carers are, are bending digital to their will, if you like, and they're using digital to find ways to connect with other carers. Could be summed up as being empathy readers. Chatter is probably most easily described as like uh, a digital radio. Um, and it is a device that is to enable carers to link with each other. Primarily, those links are through their voices, and they can record messages uh, for other carers in that network. They can also get information, uh, news that is relevant to them as carers. This is a peer support device for informal carers. Um, so it's a vocal-based forum um, that connects to the web and connects to all the other devices that are shared amongst the informal carers. And it downloads people's recordings of questions or tips and advice or bits of news they might want to share. Hi everyone, so my message today is about planning to visit a nursing home. Um, my mum and I... Importantly, are... Chatter is uh, not a solution. In a way, it's about us understanding a little bit more about the needs of carers in this instance and the, and the potential of digital technology to actually support them. So we're at the stage really of having learnt from the workshop, having learnt from our early work, that we'll be going back to our group of carers that have worked with us throughout. Then after that, we'll really uh, take a view as to the best way of actually um, taking it forward and continuing to do work in this area. She could still go to a hairdresser's, and that might be nice, you know, because she's still mobile, so it'd be nice for her to, to go out and things. Kind of, I guess, felt like uh, some of the kind of caring responsibility was, was lifted a bit, you know, and I could actually properly enjoy myself. One of the key elements is that you're sharing your discussions and feelings with other people that are in the same situation. And you can feel safe because it's anonymous.
I used to take it in the car with me because I used to pick up our grandson and so I'd be waiting for him and I'd be using it then. Quiet in the car, nobody about. That was my space. I did do some recording, but primarily I listened. At that point, I found it was important to listen to other people. It gave me a balance. It made me feel I wasn't the only person or we weren't the only people that were going through similar situations. It does reduce the isolation. It can reduce the isolation. Even if it's only for a very short space of time, and you've got to go back to it.